Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Halo guys, my name is Dila Aulia Ramadanti and you can call me Dila I'm from Mathematics Education, 11 Maret University Today, we will learn about exponent But, first of all, I will give you a video that containing a song about exponent So, I hope you know a little information about exponent Check it out! It's all about the base times the base. All about the base times the base. It's all about the base times the base. It's all about the base times the base. Yeah, what's written here? Little number two. What does it mean? What am I supposed to do? My head's like boom, boom with all this crazy stuff. Now math is getting tough I see the teacher working up there with white chalk He's not making sense Someone make him stop repeating multiplication Just sounds made up I wanna multiply the bottom number by the top Teacher said don't ever multiply It's all about the base times the base. It's all about the base times the base. It's all about the base times the base. Bring the example back. Go on, just don't forget. Five squared isn't ten. No, it's five times five multiplied. I'll give you twenty-five. Teacher said. Welcome back to me. How about the video? Now you know about a uh, concept of exponent, right? Okay, first we will learn about the definition of exponent. Do you know about definition of exponent? Right. The exponent of the number says how many times to use the number in a multiplication. Exponent are also called power or indices. Exponent make it easier to write and use many multiplication. And then we will discuss about the symbol of exponent. As you can see in this symbol, 8 as a base and 2 as exponent are index or power. In x squared, the 2 says to use 8 twice in a multiplication. So, x squared equals 8 times 8 equals 64. In word, x squared could be called 8 to the power 2, 8 to the second power, or x squared. So, we can get in general, as you can see, a to the power n tells you to multiply a by itself. So, there are n of those a's. How to read the exponent? First, if the base is x and the power is 2, we can read x squared. And then the second, 
If the base is x and the power is 3, we can read x cubed. And then if the base is x and the power is n, we can read x to the power of n, x to the nth power, x to the n, x upper n, or x raised n. And then the last, if there is a bracket on the base and the power is 2, we can read x plus y all squared, bracket x plus y bracket close squared, or x plus y in bracket squared. And then there are a special form about the exponent. First, if the exponent is 1. If the exponent is 1, we just have the number itself. Uh, formula a to the power 1 equals a. The example, 2 to the power 1 equals 2. 5 to the power 1 equals 5. And 7 to the power 1 equals 7. The second form, if the exponent is 0. If the exponent is 0, you get 1. The formula a to the power 0 equals 1. The example, 2 to the power 0 equals 1. 5 to the power 0 equals 1. And the last, 7 to the power 0 equals 1. And then, the third special form, a fractional exponent. A fractional exponent like 1 divided by n means to take n root. The formula is x to the power of 1 divided by n equals nth root of x. A fractional exponent like m divided by n means to take a m power and then take the nth root. So the formula is x to the power of m divided by n equals the nth root of x to the power m. And then we will discuss about the laws of exponent. But before that, I will give you a video again that containing some laws of exponent. Check it out. When you multiply numbers with exponents that have the same base, you add the exponent and keep the same base. Example 3 squared times 3 cubed equals 3 to the 2 plus 3 power equals 3 to the 5th power. When you divide numbers with exponents that have the same base, you subtract the exponents and keep the same base. Example, 3 to the 6th power divided by 3 squared equals 3 to the 6 minus 2 power equals 3 to the 4th power. When you take an exponent of an exponent, you multiply the exponents. Example, 3 squared cubed equals 3 to the 2 times 3 power equals 3 to the 6th power. When you see a negative exponent, just put 1 over that number with a positive exponent. Example 3 to the negative 2 power equals 1 over 3 squared equals 1 ninth. When you multiply, add exponents. When you divide, subtract exponents. For an exponent of an exponent, you multiply for a negative exponent. Take one over the positive. That's exponents. Okay.
Okay, and then I will start with negative exponent. If any negative exponent, we can change into 1 over a to the power n. The formula a to the power of minus n equals 1 over a to the power n. The example, 3 to the power of minus 2 equals 1 over 3 squared equals 1 over 3 times 3 equals 1 over 9. And then the second law, x to the power m times x to the power n equals x to the power of m plus n. If the base is same, we can add the exponent. The example, x to the power 2 times x to the power 3 equals x to the power of 2 plus 3 equals x to the power 5. The third law, x to the power m divided by x to the power n equals x to the power of m minus n. If the base is same, we can subtract the exponent. The example, x to the power 6 divided by x to the power 3 equals x to the power of 6 minus 3 equals x to the power 3. The fourth law, x to the power m in bracket to the power n equals x to the power of m times n we can multiply the exponent. Example, x to the power 2 in bracket cube equals x to the power of 2 times 3 equals x to the power c. The fifth law, x plus y in bracket to the power m equals x to the power m times y to the power m. Example, 2 times 3 in bracket to the power 3 equals 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 3. The last law, x over y in bracket to the power m equals x to the power m over y to the power m. Example, 6 over 5 in bracket cube equals 6 cube over 5 cube and then we move to exercise okay number one find the x value of 3 to the power of 2 times x plus 3 equals a third root of 27 to the power of x plus 5 and then 3 to the power of 2 times x plus 3 equals 27 to the power of x plus 5 over 3. And then we can change 27 into 3 cube. And then 3 to the power of 2 times x plus 3 equals 3 cube to the power of x plus 5 over 3. And then 3 to the power of 2 times x plus 3 equals 3 to the power of x plus 5. Because the bases are same, we can equate the exponent. So we get 2 times x plus 3 equals x plus 5. And then 2 times x minus x equals 5 minus 3. And finally, we get x equals 2. And then, number 2. Find the x value of 2 to the power x over 4 to the power of x plus 2 equals 16 times 4 to the power x. In both sides, we multiply by 4 to the power of x plus 2 and change 16 into 2 to the power 4. And then we get 2 to the power x equals 2 to the power 4 times 4 to the power x times 4 to the power of x plus 2. 
and then we change 4 into 2 to the power of 2. So we get 2 to the power x equals 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power of 2 times x times 2 to the power of 2 times x plus 4. And then we add the exponent and we get 2 to the power x equals 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 4. And we get 2 to the power x equals 2 to the power of 4 times x plus 8. Because the base are same, we can equal the exponent. So we get x equals 4 times x plus 8. And then negative 3 times x equals 8. And finally, we get x equals minus 8 over 3. Okay, this one is easy, right? And then this is enough for the exponent from me. I hope all of you can do some exercise by yourself. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.